Right, I'm just going to try and talk through a break here. You're playing your mate there in the club. You've left it nicely on this red. You've got another couple of loose reds available. Uh, but you've also got a bunch of six reds here that need developing. So if you want to improve your break building and start scoring bigger breaks, just going to talk about some of the things you should be thinking about. So first shot, I'm going to leave myself to finish low on the black. And I'm going to immediately then go into this group of reds. The reason I'm going to do that straight away is because if I leave the white somewhere at the bottom of this uh, bunch of reds, I'll have either this one to that corner, I'll leave myself on this red to this corner, and I may even leave myself on one of the reds that are already in that little bunch. So just pop this red and leave yourself low on the black with a little angle to go into that bunch. There we go, you've got that angle straight away now, so I'm just going to screw into this little area. Again, this is more about control. You don't want to just go 10 out of 10 pair and smash into these reds at 100 miles an hour. It's probably about a 6 or a 7 in terms of power. A firm stun shot into these reds. Don't screw off them, stun into them quite firmly. Leave the white where the reds are. Leave myself on one of these in the corner or one of the ones in the bunch. So, nice and smooth. So they just look nicely there, and we did leave ourselves on the one to the corner as we thought. So, and now we've got lots of options. Most of the reds are potable now, so it's just about good shot selection now and keeping nice control of that cue ball. So, first shot now, I'm just going to screw it back just a fraction so that I'm high on the black, and then I can just bounce on and off the cushion for choice of this red here, this red here, this red at the top goes. This one will go once I move that one. So somewhere up here in this part of the table is an excellent place to put the white. So just a little screw shot now. Just leave yourself that angle on the black. So now, as I said, just going to bounce up now into this area. If I miss, if I can on that red, I'll still be okay. I'll add that one into the corner. If I miss it, I've got choice of reds that go into this corner. So. Push it through. So as I said, this was a good area of, of the table to land in here. So this red in the middle goes, this one goes, this one goes. So it was always a good place to land. I'm nicely on this one, so I'm just going to roll it through nicely for the black. Probably finish low on the black this time, just because it means I can hit it just that little bit firmer. And then I've got choice of several reds, this one goes in the middle. But just make sure you leave yourself. Try not to finish straight on the black, but just you're avoiding there. So now I've got a nice angle on the black, I'm absolutely perfect. I think I'm going to stun up now into this area and leave myself on this red here. Just because it's the easiest shot here, I'm not moving the white very far, I've got a perfect angle. so. Just play that now. I actually played that badly. Didn't want to be anywhere near catching that red there. Um, I'm still on the red I played for, but it was a it was a bad shot. I meant to stun it just a little bit more. So perfectly on this red though. Just going to play to roll this red through on and off the cushion now. Probably leave myself low on the black. Make sure you don't, whatever you do on this shot, don't leave yourself short here because then you're going to have to start playing cannon, you might have to go around the table. Make sure you get high enough off the cushion and back nicely on the black. So as you can see, we've got that nice, we're just off straight on the black. Whatever you do on that shot, as I say, don't leave yourself here. As soon as you're there, you're in trouble, so just having your mind get up the table. Wouldn't have mattered if I was here, as long as I'm not low on the black. So, again, here, this red goes, the one I'm pointing at now. This one goes, this one goes, this one goes, all into that corner. So, I'm going to screw on and off the cushion into this area to plan all of these reds. I'd love to pop that one, because it then releases this one, and then they're all potable then, so. 
I've got to sleep myself in that area. I'm sure to red soon. And I'm actually on the exact one I want it to be on. That's the one there that unlocks this one. And then I've just got four loose reds after this one. So pop this one again. Try not to leave yourself straight on the black. I'm probably going to finish low again. Just gives me lots of options. Keep yourself nice and still. So I actually just flicked the red as I came through, which is why it took a little bit of the pace out of the white. And I haven't finished low, so. Just going to drop this black in now. It looks as though it can almost be a plain ball shot, and I should find somewhere this gap here. Might can on this red, but if I find this gap, this red and this red potted to here, if I go really far and I'm up here with the white where I'm pointing my tip, then this red here pops in here. So <coughs> just make sure of the black, a little bit of a tricky pot. found the gap I wanted, I just didn't quite hit it uh, um, exactly as I wanted, but we're on this red by the pink now, which is a nice one to move. Just play a little gentle stun shot onto the black. Again, you're not trying to be too precise here. Don't try and put the white exactly here, or, or, or exactly here. Just make sure you get enough bite into it that you don't leave yourself by the cushion just get a nice amount of bite into it and leave yourself a nice easy neck splat. And we've got plenty of options. I'm actually going to have to use the rest on this, can't quite reach it. So just make sure you pot it and get the bite on it. And that's what I want you to do, just stay nice and close to the black, just gives you that nice close control. So. Again, just a natural ball shot on the black. Somewhere up to where the pink is, I'll leave myself on this one to the corner. If I, if I can on the pink, I'll leave myself that one to the corner. Possibly this one if I just miss it. If I miss the cannon on the pink and come up here where I'm pointing now, I'll have this one to the corner. So just roll the black in again. So again, I've just left myself in an area there where I've got lots of options. So I've actually come a little bit in betwixt and in between there. It's a, it's a bit annoying, uh, but I am on this one. And again, it's the same shot as the shot before. Just make sure you get enough bite in to stay nicely on the black. Don't leave yourself where you're too close to the cushion. So I'm actually now, I've finished, I am on the black, I've also finished nicely on the pink, so the pink now, a couple of options, looks as though if I just roll it in, I should just leave myself nicely on this red to this corner, possibly that one, but it looks as though I'll be too far over this side of the table to be on that one, so just roll this in. Again, nicely on this red now, so what you can do now is just roll this red in, pull it off the cushion, put the pink into this middle here. These are where you want to be careful about stunning it too much because you'll leave yourself too far away from the blue, so just want to be rolling this really, not too hard. So I've come a little bit too far there on the compact. But this is where the break gets difficult because we've only got, you know, we're down to the last couple of reds now, so you're really having to think about your position. So this shot now, 
lots of top spin on and off the cushion for the red into the same pocket. So we've just about got a shot on this red now. Uh, again, it's a shot where you're just going to concentrate on potting the red now. Just let the white naturally go where it goes, just concentrate on potting the red. It should be, should be coming off the cushion and somewhere in this area for the blue, so just concentrate on the pot. So unfortunately we've come a little bit too far on the blue. I mean this is going to happen. <clears throat> so all we can do now is roll the blue through. And because I'm a right-handed player, I don't want to leave it too straight. I want to leave myself a little bit of angle so that I can pop the yellow natural ball and just roll it through on and off the cushion. So just pop the blue. Again, same with the green, you just need to roll it on and off the cushion and just leave yourself somewhere in this part of the table so that you give yourself a shot into the brown. Don't try and stun it, just a nice little gentle roll through. Finished short there, so I've left myself a very difficult shot there to continue the break. Gonna have to come round the corner. Don't really want to be playing these, but there's not much choice here. So this is all. This all stems from the fact that I hit the green badly. I hit the green badly. I wasn't good on the brown. I've had to play recovery on the brown. Now I've got a recovery shot on the blue. So it just shows what happens if you don't stay in good position. Up until that point in the break, you've been in pretty good position on the break, so it just shows the importance of position. This is a natural now, I'll naturally stun onto the pink if I pot it, so just try and keep it nice and still, get a good solid hit on the ball. And we just missed, so there it was, the, the, it was the green that cost us the position on that shot. We were in good position up until then. Um, the yellow was a bit of a tricky shot, but once we potted the yellow, we should have played a good green to brown, really. That was the careless shot, so just shows you the importance of position. Hope that was useful. Cheers.